Namaste. In this tutorial, I will show you some basics of extrude in deep. First of all, let's make a circle of dia having 1 inch diameter. Now, here we are going to see what kind of things we can do in extrude. The first and basic things we can do is extrude up to a depth as per our requirement. Now, if I want to extrude up to 1, 1 for 18 inch or else, I just simply type here and we will get extrude like this. Now, but I didn't want, I want to show what kind of other things we can do in extrude. Now, here I see, I see option is one is draft. When I click on draft, here I see it, it basically moves to a inverse the circular center point. I give an angle 30 degree, so his angle is basically 30 degree. Now, if I want to just move the top outward, to the circle, I just click on draft outward. Here you see the structure. Now, here you see it reverse direction button. Now, just click on it, and here you see the reverse direction. Now, they can be stored on two sides direction one on this side and direction two on this side. Basically, I uncheck the direction two, so direction two is not basically showing here. When I click on it, it basically is showing now direction two. Now, I just extrude it here. And I click on it and here it becomes it becomes now a board like structure and we just make it by just simply making a circle line and nothing else now it becomes a board like structure now now let's see what kind of other things we can do in extrude now uh, now let's go on thin picture basically thin picture gives a thickness for example if I know the diameter of the pipe Wait a minute. Now, if I know the diameter of the pipe, and uh, here we can didn't able to see the sketch. Uh, wait a minute. I will show you. Mm. Now, now it's fine. Now click on thin picture. Now, as you can see, the thickness. Uh, I click on the thickness picture, and th and here it shows the thickness above the above the line drawn by us. Now. When I click on the reverse direction, it goes the thickness inside this inside the circle. Now, for example, if there is a pipe having one inch diameter and I want to give thickness, so it basically saves my time instead of drawing two circles in the diameter or two diameter. I just make a simple circle and give this thickness, and my, my work will be done. Now, in thickness, we will see that we will see their options are one direction and this option two direction. When I click on two direction. I see there will be they will uh, extrude are going on two sides above the line and below the line. If I want to control it, I just simply change that by clicking here and there by clicking T1 above the line by clicking T1 and below the line. I just simply click on it. Here you see how to increase or decrease. Now there is option known as mid plane. In mid plane, what will going to happen if I change if I try to increase or decrease the thickness? It increase above or below the line. It increase above or below the line equally in 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 all directions. Now here, I click on it. I see it increase or decrease equally in both directions. Now I want ex I extruding in this side. This option is going to cap ends. When I click on it, I see my ends at the my ends of the pipe is basically closed now. I can give the thickness as per my requirement. So I actually increase the thickness. Here I click. When it is done, as as I see, it gives a pipe thickness. To confirm it, let's select the plane. Control plus eight to see the space. Wait a minute. Click on the space and select normal to the face. Oh sorry. Here you see that that the pipe ends are closed. Now what? Uh, let's see the other things we can do in the extrude. Uh, now, I just make a make a new sketch on top plane. Control plus A to normal to normal the drawing. And just I just leave the sketch. Now, in first case, I've show you extrude simply the plane extrude. Now, what kind of other things in extrude? Click on it extrude here. Select the sketch you want to extrude. I click I select this sketch because I want to this want to extrude. Uh, sorry. Uh, select sketch. 
Now, it, it asks me which sketch, sketch you want us to do. Now, I select the sketch. Here you see the direction vector. It is asking me what is the direction of the extrusion. So, I click on this extrusion. Sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. I click on this and if I, if I increase the height as you can see it increases the height in vertical direction so it is an advantage for me for example if you want to make a pillar like structure which is inclined at the board, board so I can make by simply this without using swept command because in swept command I make I make a profile, profile, circle, and certain plane. In this, in if you, uh, in this case, you can simply do by using both extrude. Now, let's see other things we can do in extrude. Control plus eight to normal the plane. Now. First of all, we see the blind. We see, we see what what kind of thing, what kind of thing it can do. Now we select through all. When we click, click on through all, it basically go up to this side. Uh, it, it basically tells up to what extent it can go. Now, now I select up to the vertex. When I click this vertex, I see what will going to happen here is. Wait a minute. Now. Here look carefully, it just go to the this point and just passes this point. The, the lowest point of the vertex, it just go to this point. Now, let's see the another feature, what things you do. Up to the surface. When it's like up to the surface, it's asking me at what surface you want to extrude. Basically, up to the surface command is used where when I want to the circular extrude up to the, only the surface, I don't want that this extrudes go go into the surface or close the surface I just want they just touch the surface and just combine it so I just click the surface here I click on it and I see it will basically uh, extrude up to the surface his option is, uh, is merge result what will basically merge result do it will combine the both the bodies if I didn't click on it it will assume that both the bodies are different for example I uncheck the merge result and click on it ok now, if I do the fillet, what I will see, it, the operation of fillet is done only on this body, not on this. So, now, see, as you see, the fillet operation is done only on this body, not on this body. But I want that the fillet operation, uh, that fillet will be done not this, not this way, but other way. So, I click the, delete the fillet and go to extrude and add it and click on the merge result. I click OK. I go to the fillet and select it. Here you see what kind of fillet we got here. And click OK. Here you see. So you see what what will be the difference if I select the merge result or not. Now what other things we do in extrude? Go to the extrude. I tell you what is up to surface. Now I will tell you what is offset from surface. Now offset from surface uh, first decrease the thickness. Offset from surface basically means at what distance uh, from this surface you want to extrude. If uh, in this case 0.68, which it means that uh, from this surface the extrude is just 0.68. The gap between this and this surface is just 0.68 inch. Now here is the merger to just merge the bodies and translate surface. Now what will going to happen if I click on translate surface? It basically just smoothens the screen and completely merges uh, uh, and completely you see completely along the directions of the path. Now this reverse offset. When I click on it, it what will it going to do? It will go to distance from this point to this 0.68 inch. Basically now merge the reverse direction. After touching the surface, it will go 0.68 inch. So I guess you will understand what what is the offset from surface. Now I will go to the, up to the body. Now select a body up to which you want to store. Here I select it. Now the the difference between the surface and body is uh, is a surface may be as thin as you can uh, very thin body. When uh, when case of uh, a surface very thin. When case of body it uh, it becomes solid like structure. If you want to know what is surface, uh, I will prefer you go and see surfaces tutorial. Okay, 
uh, now this is option known as mid plane when I select on the mid plane it basically same like the feature we see in mid plane in thin thin pipes thin thin feature I show you I show you uh, uh, I show you uh, now when I increase or decrease the depth it will in, uh, it will uh, equally increase or decrease in both the directions now I will show you some other command in for uh, in exclude now click on uh, now on this now I will tell you what kind of formula you will go to normally faces in exclude now select exclude and here you see here you see but uh, I want to basically extrude just this area but here you see it becomes thin feature and I didn't want to do that and here you see again because I didn't uncheck the thin feature so here is a problem so what will I do I just go to the selected counters and select the area I select this now here you see again that uh, I didn't can't extrude the area I want so here you see the thing that I can now uncheck the thin feature so just simply uncheck it and here the area I want I get it so this is this is selected control so selected control basically very useful for you in case you you are facing problems and I and and telling you that selected control is very important command because you see sometimes that um, unnecessary thin features a, a command uh, automatically on and you didn't want it so just go to the selected counter and use the and select the area you want and uncheck the thin features now I tell you uh, every, uh, everything of basics of extrude uh, I guess you like the tutorial uh, please like and subscribe thank you